happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's a new week. It's a fresh start. It is the last day of November. I cannot believe November's over. I think November is the fastest month to fly by in 2020. I thought about putting makeup on before I started because my skin is not looking the best this morning, but I wanna keep this video very real, so just excuse that, we'll put makeup on later. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Adrian. You should definitely hit subscribe. I am doing Vlogmas this year, so if you haven't already, catch up to my previous vlogmas videos i'm uploading at least four times a week sometimes more than that so it is monday morning it is about 9 20 i've actually been up since 7 and i kind of just had like a chill morning laying and drinking my coffee cuddling with cleo i moved to seoul only four days ago yeah so um i'm kind of like starting to get into a routine here and I've, I'm just really grateful for these mornings here. It's absolutely beautiful. I've never lived anywhere with a, like a view like this. So just being able to like wake up and just appreciate this is great. Like I don't need a TV when I could just look out and see all of this stuff. Anyways, today I'm gonna be starting this vlog. It's gonna be a work week in my life video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I stay busy, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. My schedule every week is never the same because I have just different things here and there that I do. The focal point of this week is my filming tomorrow and Wednesday. I'm filming with the KTO. We are gonna be doing a temple stay and going to some vegan restaurants. So today I have to do some stuff to prepare for that. I gotta do some research just so I have some stuff to say in the video, obviously. And I'm also gonna be heading to Gangnam today to pick up my beauty box. I'm doing a holiday beauty box, so I wanna pick that up to show you guys. Anyways, the first thing I do every morning is I just have water and my coffee or my tea. And now it is about time to take Cleo outside. I'm gonna tell you guys, soul temperatures are unlike anything I've ever experienced. And I knew 100% to expect that, but, um, yeah, it's it's a time getting ready to go outside in the winter here. It's like a whole process mentally and physically. I gotta like mentally prepare myself and then I gotta like put my 10 layers on and it's only gonna get worse from here. It's not even like as cold as it's gonna get. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change my clothes, head outside on my walk and I'll see you guys there. So I actually did order a super long padded coat, which any day now, I'm <laughs> excuse me, why are you barking at me? Uh, any day now, I'm really trying to get that thing on my hands. So it is about 5.30. I just finished my aqua peel and that's why my face looks very serumed up. Um, it was good. It took about an hour and it's just really nice to do a little bit of self-care here and there. But now I'm at Soul Guy Medical Office and I'm just doing a little bit of prep for my holiday beauty box that is going to come out soon. And then also I'm here uploading some videos. I still don't have Wi-Fi at my house. Usually that wouldn't be a problem because there's so many cafes in Korea. But uh, cafes right now are takeout only. So I can't. This is like the worst week ever to not have Wi-Fi of all the weeks. Of course, it's the week that all the cafes are closed. <laughs> Good morning. 
morning everyone happy tuesday so it is bright and early right now it's only about 9 a.m and i'm about to head out to meet up with some of the crew from the kto if you guys remember when i did the gyeongju video it was like professionally filmed um we're doing something just like that again except we're staying in seoul we're not traveling anywhere um and we're going to be doing a temple stay and going to vegan restaurants so it's going to be really fun it's an all-day shoot and it's going to continue on to tomorrow so that's kind of what i have going on today and tomorrow but i'm really excited because they're so nice and i have like a tour guide and she's the sweetest thing ever so yeah i'm all bundled up it's going to be really cold today we're going to be outside for most of the day so i've got like my turtleneck my sweatshirt i got my padded coat i got leggings and jeans on um so yeah this should be fun i'm gonna try and remember to vlog if i can during our breaks but for the most part i'm not um gonna be filming anything because they have their cameras so yeah i'm gonna take the subway and go meet up with their crew and then we're gonna drive over to g temple they did a great job they really happy wednesday so it is day two of filming we did the temple stay yesterday it was so much fun and i was really tired at night so i forgot to update you guys and then we are doing vegan restaurants today so it's really early it's like 10 a.m right now and i am near the home day area at sludge factory it's actually in hapjong but um, let me try to show you guys it's basically just a vegan cafe so yeah, I'm really excited. I think we're going to be filming until about 4 or 5 today. And then my plan is to go to Busan tonight. So I'll let you guys know if I follow through with that. back from Busan and I wanted to hop on and introduce to you guys the sponsor of today's video. I'm so excited to be working with Teamy Blends. So as you guys know, a lot of the time I am on the go, whether it's just staying in this city or going to another city like I was just in Busan. Um, and even though I do eat pretty healthy as it is, in my opinion, it is honestly pretty hard for me to get the right amount of fruit, but mostly vegetables in my diet. It's always been hard, but 
especially since coming to Korea. It's something I have to consciously remind myself to do, um, which is why I've been loving their green powder. So the purpose of this powder, here it is. Um, it's basically to help increase the amount of veggies and superfoods that you're intaking daily, which obviously leads to you know improving gut health, energy levels, which is something I think a lot of us neglect without even realizing. You just take a scoop of the blends and it comes with this really cute little tumbler. Pop it in there and just add water to it. And then just shake it up. And now I have those four to five servings of fruits and veggies. If you like smoothies, you can also add the scoop in to your blender when you're making your smoothie. And some of the ingredients in here are wheatgrass, there is acai matcha, but in my opinion, it just tastes like a matcha latte or like some kind of green tea drink that you could get, which I'm really happy about because I have tried other green superfood powders before that tasted absolutely disgusting. So it's really nice that this one has an actually good taste. And also if you are on the keto diet, TV Blends is awesome for that because it is low calorie and low carb. All right, so thank you again to TV Blends for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna give this a try, actually have a coupon, you can use the coupon code HILL30 and you'll get 30% off. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I look crazy, but how can you look cute with a face mask on, to be honest? Happy Saturday. I actually took the past two days off from vlogging. I went to Busan to visit a couple of my friends. It was so much fun. Um, I got back late last night, and I'm excited to be back in Seoul and just getting back into my routine. So today, I think, is going to be... Cleo's trying to come in. Hello! Did you finally wake up? Hello. Today is going to be a getting my house a little bit more organized day. My Wi-Fi people are coming at one. So I'm finally getting Wi-Fi. I've not had Wi-Fi at my house at all, which isn't really that big of an issue because I have hotspot on my phone, but now I can finally upload videos, which is nice. But I'm gonna do this mask and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So I wanted to show you guys something. When I got home last night, I had some packages waiting for me. And one of them was actually like a handwritten adjust one that was sent from someone, but I wasn't expecting anything, so I was really confused. And I opened it up, there was this box, and there was a note with it, and I'm not gonna show you guys the letter because there's some personal information in it, like names and the place where I live. But you guys, my landlord and her daughter, they wrote me this letter, all in English, like welcoming me to their house and they said they watched my videos because i think uh, my realtor told them about my channel and it's literally the sweetest thing ever yeah just little things like that mean so much to me especially during the holidays like this year when i'm not able to see my family like small acts of kindness uh, mean so much um but yeah they sent me this box of products from i'm not even gonna try and butcher the name this is a really popular brand here la, la satin maybe i've tried their stuff before and i love it um look at all this stuff there's a body cream shower foam never tried shower foam i'm excited hand cream their hand cream is so good but yeah i just wanted to show you guys this it's so sweet it put me in such a good mood this morning you guys i am now the owner of a long padded jacket i'm so excited to have this i honestly didn't feel the need for one of these last year for winter in busan it does get cold, but I just had a short one. But here in Seoul, I feel like this is absolutely necessary. So I got this online. It was originally 100 bucks, but I got it for 50. And I brought it with me when I went to Busan the other day. And it was just amazing to have it. It keeps me so warm. This is our winter look. I swear, I look like this every single time I go outside. Hat, padding, leggings, socks mask so one of my favorite things about winter in korea are the 
potatoes in the convenience store. You can go get one of these for like a buck. And they're warm, they taste so good. Okay hey guys, please don't hate me, but I am being really lazy today. Slash, I have no food in my house because I didn't grocery shop since I was leaving Seoul this week. Um, but I ordered dinner. I am actually about to film a skincare video. Let me turn you guys around. I'm about to film a skincare slash makeup haul video. It's already nighttime and I feel super low energy. I was going to eat this after, but I honestly think I should just eat it now. Um, so that I have a lot of energy, but I just did my hair. Um, so last thing to do before filming is eat. So it's from this place called Greener. And yeah, this is actually like a really big salad. I added a couple things to it. Wow. This is quite a combination. All right, I'm gonna go eat this and then get my filming on. All right, it is several hours later now. It's actually almost midnight, but I want to check in with you all. I just finished filming my video and I also uploaded my third and I think my final moving vlog. So that's exciting. I just want to thank you guys so much for leaving so many nice comments and um, hitting your notifications on these vlogs videos because it really is really like exciting for me when I upload to talk to you guys and all that stuff in the comments down below. So. I really appreciate it, but uh, yeah, I just finished filming and my house is literally a wreck Well, it's not really a wreck, but I just feel like there's stuff all over the place. I have so much recycling that I need to take out and Just kind of get my life together so I can go to bed with a nice clean house, right Cleo? But I wanted to show you guys I realized look at you um, I realized I never showed you guys my new mirror that I got so I ordered a mirror online and I knew it would be big. It fits the space perfectly, but I don't know if it's too big or not. I might end up moving it into my bedroom, but I just want to show you guys for now. Cleo, why are you so cute? Um, yeah, I got this huge mirror. Like, when I say huge, I mean, like, here's me. So you could fit, like, one, two, three, four of me in this mirror. And then this is how tall it is. I really do love it. Like, this is exactly what I pictured for this space. Um, oh gosh, let me back up. This is what it looks like, sorry. It's kind of a mess with my flat iron over there and everything, but this is what it looks like with the mirror. Maybe I just feel like it looks a little bit funky because I don't have my rug yet. Um, and I do usually have that plant pushed in front of it, which looks nice, but yeah, if, it, if I like feel weird about it being right there, I'll just put it in my bedroom and I'll get a smaller mirror maybe. But I really do like having a giant mirror. It's it's very fun to have like dance parties in here just by myself and get myself hyped up. So yeah, I think I also should push my couch back a little more. Maybe that's what's tripping me up. I feel like the, the space feels smaller with the mirror, but maybe I should just push my couch back more. Um, so yeah, I got that mirror. Is there anything else that I got that I didn't show you guys? Oh, also, I got a microwave. My first microwave that I've ever owned, I didn't have one in my first apartment, and a microwave just comes in handy often, but I don't know if I wanna keep it on the counter or put it under. Also, yeah, my counter is cracked, <laughs> so I kinda of wanted to get like a wooden chopping block for right here. I might keep this under the counters because I have the space under, and it's not like I use a microwave every day, if not like once a week maybe. Oh, also. This is the giant box the mirror came in, which I also have to take outside. Usually something this big, the delivery people will take out, but I wasn't home, so shocks, I gotta do that by myself. But with all that being said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog off here. It is technically only Saturday, but tomorrow I'm going to be filming a whole vlog in itself. So I figured instead of stressing myself out by double filming tomorrow, I'll just close the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this week in my life. I hope it gave you some insight on what my life is like. I haven't really talked about this in this video at all, so hopefully you guys are still listening, but um, everything in Seoul is pretty much takeout only now with the exceptions of like restaurants, but you cannot sit inside of a cafe. Um, and that's just because there was a recent outbreak of COVID, so they're just taking extra precautions. I think the schools have went to online classes now. So that's why you guys don't see me out and about. I'm honestly not even trying to like go to stores if I don't have to, which is why I still haven't gone to Daiso or anything. And 
yeah, I just, I'm kind of trying to lay low, if that makes sense. I know I did go to Busan, but I specifically went there super late at night when the KTX is practically empty and I came back very late at night. And when I was there, my friends and I literally just chilled inside their house. So that's just kind of the reason that I have been at home mostly for this whole video with the exception of filming earlier this week. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Nonetheless, I am hoping to bring you guys some Christmas content within the next week. I have a really fun event planned on Monday. Very Christmassy themed video. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm also going to be filming another week in the life next week. So be on the lookout for part two of this as well. But that's about it. I love you guys so much. If you're looking to to see more behind the scenes on my life this December be sure to follow me on Instagram I love chatting with you guys on there as well and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys Mwah. I love you so much